and welcome to the session. In this session, we discuss the following question which says, in the given figure, that is this figure, O is the center if OA is equal to 5 centimeters, BX equal to 4 centimeters and OX equal to 3 centimeters, find XC. Before moving on to the solution, let's discuss one result which says that a straight line drawn from the center of a circle perpendicular to a chord bisects the chord. This is the key idea that we use for this question. Let's proceed with the solution now. This is the figure given to us in which we have that O is the center of the circle. First of all, we join OA OX and OB also. We have joined OA, OX and OB. Now in the question we are given that OA is equal to 5 centimeters, BX is equal to 4 centimeters and OX is equal to 3 centimeters and we are supposed to find the length of XC. We suppose let R be the radius of the circle. This means that OA would be equal to OB would be equal to R since they are the radii of the circle. We consider the two chords AD and BC are drawn through X. Now in the next step, we draw OM perpendicular to BC. We have this OM perpendicular to the chord BC. From the key idea we know that a straight line drawn from the center of a circle perpendicular to a chord bisects the chord since OM is drawn perpendicular to the chord BC. Therefore we say that BM would be equal to NC. Next we consider the product of the segments of the chord BC which would be BX into CX. Now this could be further written as from the figure we find that BX is given by BM minus NX. So BM minus NX is BX this will into CX which is CN plus NX. This means that BX into CX is equal to BN minus NX this whole into CN plus NX. Now we know that CN is equal to BN CN that is NC is equal to BN. So we can write here BN plus NX. Now using the identity we get that BX into CX is equal to BN square minus NX square. Further BX into CX is equal to BN square minus now so 
on the triangle ONX we have OX square is equal to ON square plus NX square by the Pythagoras theorem. So from here we have NX square is equal to OX square minus ON square. So we can write here OX square minus ON square the whole. This gives us BX into CX is equal to BN square minus OX square plus ON square or you can say that BX into CX is equal to BN square plus ON square minus OX square. Now, when you consider the triangle OBN in this, we have OB square is equal to ON square plus NB square. Again by the Pythagoras theorem. So this means that BX into CX is equal to OB square minus OX square. Now we know that OB is the radius of the circle which is R. So we have BX into CX is equal to R square minus OX square. We know that R is the radius of the circle and this is equal to OB and OA. Since OA is equal to 5 cm, so this means OB is also 5 cm and R is also 5 cm. And we are also given the values of BX and OX. So we can substitute these values. So this gives us 4 cm, that is BX into CX is equal to R square, which would be 5 cm, the whole square, minus OX, which is 3 cm, the whole square. So this gives us 4 cm into CX is equal to 25 cm square minus 9 cm square. Or you can say that 4 cm into CX is equal to 16 cm square. And from here we get CX is equal to 16 upon 4 cm. Now 4, 4 times is 16. So therefore we get CX is equal to 4 cm. Or finally you can say that XC is equal to 4 cm. So this is our final answer. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the solution of this question.